Hey guys, going for another flight. So we have about a two mile an hour breeze. You can see the flag there. Just blowing a little bit from kind of this direction. It's kind of coming and going though. And I got my wing laid out here, bringing fuel for almost two hours of flight. Um, and the goals for this flight is I'm gonna get up high, just glide over to the prairie, um, maybe I'll shut my motor down. We'll see how I'm feeling um, on the glide down. And then we'll, I noticed the wheat's getting tall. So I'm going to buzz around on the wheat. And I love flying over the wheat because it's just, um, you can get so close to the ground, but you have that little extra two feet of uh, buffer, which the wheat makes up. And just flying real low over that at sunset, that's absolutely perfect. So with these very low wind launches, almost zero wind, it's very important to get your wing perfectly perpendicular to the wind. Otherwise, as soon as you start pulling it up, it's going to immediately fall to one side and you don't have the wind speed flowing over the wing to make any correction. You can run in that direction, um, but it's just, it's going to be problematic, as you can see. So I bust a few launches here. Um, it doesn't help that my chase cam is like bumping along behind me. I'll show that in a second here. In this launch, I actually get thrown to the ground. My, I start pulling up my wing, and it is obviously going is too far gone, going to the left. But I try to run left and um, recover it. And I should have just called it quits right there, but so much goes into a launch, you really hate to bust one. Well, never done that before. Ugh. In case you didn't catch it, I accidentally fell to the ground. But, no damage, so we're all good. But we're going to lose that chase cam. So I think the chase cam is my real problem. Check out this footage from the chase cam. It's like bouncing along, dragging through these weeds. And all this time I'm trying to do like the zero wind launch where everything has to be perfect. And so once I get rid of the chase cam, everything worked out fine. I had no problems whatsoever. Now on the surface, this looks like bad planning, but I actually carefully formulated a plan a half second earlier that I would run up this giant pile of logs and catapult myself into the air. Let's see how that works out. Yeah, that was epic. I literally, Jumped off a log. I put some data here on the screen for you guys. We have my ground speed on the left, bearing at the bottom, altitude on the right above sea level, and altitude min and max is there as well as the map. Whoa, look at that plane. That plane takes off right there. I have a jet. I can steer it clear of me. Rare that I see a plane like that so close. This airport doesn't see much traffic, but on the weekend, there's a decent amount of planes coming in now. So, guys, I just saw a bag fly by. Look at it. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's fun. Look at it. It's not even dropping. Just sailing a log. Oh, come on. Let's see if I catch it. Okay. I got to light up a little bit better. I'm afraid I'm going to lose sight of it. Oh, no. It's pretty visible. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Where is it going? Am I moving or is it? Okay. Here we go.
I've lined up. Oh man, it's too high. It's on my string. I've seen some crazy things up at high altitudes like this. I've been up at like uh, 3,000 feet above ground level and I saw like a little sparrow flying along or I'll see those, um, you know, like in Charlotte's Web, the little um, spiders that they send out the little parachute or whatever stream of web and then they get carried off on the wind. Come on. Come on. Well, I really don't want to collapse my wing just to get the. But let's see if we can. Mild wing over here. Get it off. Nope. I'm afraid that bag's just going to hang out for, with me for the flight. That's all good. I guess there was a B 17 bomber here today. That'd be kind of cool to see at the airport. See if I could spot it here. Oh, is that it there? I think that might be it. Okay, you see the little red thing? Hey, there's a glider over there too. You know, I know we can go close to airports and all that, but I just feel disrespectful doing it. But I don't see any air traffic. So we might be able to get a little closer. Yeah, I think this is worth checking out. No air traffic, no air traffic. Okay, we're gonna come down right here. We're gonna quickly, oh, this is cool. No air traffic. No air traffic. All right. Here we go. All right. We're going to do one pass here. Let's enjoy it. That is so sweet. Look at those things. Very cool. Very cool. Ah, oh, wheat field, my favorite. So let's see, we got a north wind. So we're going downwind. We'll swing around here. And then we'll get real low and go upwind. Wow, we slowed down. Must be a decent amount of wind. I didn't realize it was so windy. Boy, I feel like I'm just hovering here. The wind's not super calm, so, but decent. I can get pretty low like this. Oh, pheasant, right there. Getting some thermals. Thermal, thermal. Well, now it's pretty smooth. Seems to be more like a 10 mile an hour wind out here. Maybe not that much. It's probably closer to seven. You know what? I don't want to scare these cows. They look like they're just settling down for the night. We're going to go off this way. Wow. 
Could be some turbulence coming off these because I'm going straight into the wind. Don't want to sink right now. Okay. Woo! I didn't touch it. Oh, I got so close. You know, we can't leave on that, though. That would just be inappropriate. Hey, look, there's a bag of stuff there. Probably priceless gems. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. All lined up, dropping leg as far as possible. Yeah, I totally walked on that. Aha. Not everybody has touched the top of the haystack, see. Now I have bragging rights like a little baby coyote. That thing can totally outrun me. I'm going upwind. Unless I circle around upwind and then I cut him off going downwind. Aha! My sneaky plot has worked. Now I got the wind with me. Just a little guy. Look at that. Scrawny looks like. All right. All right. Got to pull my trims back in. So we're a little safer. When you let your trims out, it brings the front of your wing forward. Allows you to go a little faster, but there's a slightly higher risk of a wing collapse. Now is the risk very high? No, not with a beginner wing like this. But I don't need to have to be going faster, so no sense in doing it right now. So when you get into this sport, at first it's pretty stressful because you feel like your equipment's going to fail and you're going to fall out of the sky, and it's just a little nerve-wracking. But once you get, I don't know, 100 hours in you or something, you just start trusting your equipment, and then you can just relax up here. And on calm days like this, it's pretty easy to relax, and you can just enjoy the sunset, cruise around, and it's very relaxing. This isn't really a extreme sport, in my view. As far as it being dangerous, it's somewhere between a car and a motorcycle, danger-wise. People don't realize how dangerous cars actually are. Um, chances of you dying in a car are actually pretty good. Get our trims in, getting close to the ground. And um, up here, you know, you don't have people crashing into, or at least you shouldn't. And if you fly in good weather, don't fly over water unless you have flotation don't stick your hand in the propeller, then it's a really safe hobby. Fortunately, there are some of those people that do all those things that kind of ruin those statistics. Otherwise, this would probably be safer than a car. But got some kids on the playground, got a splash pad going. I like these splash kit pads. My kids really like them too. All right, let's see. We get we're fairly So the fresh breeze, if you look over my right shoulder, 
you can actually see the fuel of the tank because the tank's up top, which is kind of cool. It also means that you don't have to have any kind of pump pumping the fuel up. It just gravity feeds down, which adds a little more simplicity to the system, which is nice. Probably have 20 minutes to get home or sunset. So because it's the ultralight, unless I have a light, I need to be down by sunset, which is no problem. I got plenty of time. Well, it's unusual that I could fly this slow, this close to the ground. Usually when you have this much wind, it's too turbulent. This is kind of fun. I feel like you could walk on these things. Well, I'm about standing still here. That is crazy. So we're going to let out the trimmers so we can actually get home. Wow, there's so much wind up here. When did this happen? Has the wind, did this happen? You see what I did there? So I'm having a little trouble getting up wind here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut down wind over to the, where I have some field and then I'll come back up wind at a low altitude. And that way, there will be a lot less wind. You only get these high winds when you get way above these trees, because the trees kind of block the wind a little bit. Anybody home? Oh, I love tidy places like this. A little garden, pond. It just looks so good. Nobody's home. There's a cat. Got a deer going across this field here. Here's some more deer. Hello, Mr. Deer. Oh, two more. Wow, look at the rack on that one. That's a nice buck right there. There's I think that's the same deer. Oh no, this one has antlers. So that's a young buck. A lot of deer around here. There's another deer. The little one. We we have some long grass by our house and I was out there mowing the lawn and this little tiny fawn, there's another deer, uh, came out of the grass just right next to our house. thing was probably, oh, a foot and a half tall, maybe a little smaller than that, just tiny little thing. That's a fake deer. Let's see for, oh, it's for archery practice. My motor quit. Could I glide it? Oh, yeah. I've totally got it. Yep. Flexion. Woo. Wow, it got really cold. I think we got a stream running along. Oh, there's another deer. One side here. Maybe that's why it's so cold. Or maybe this little canyon air sits down. Little worried about turbulence because I got wind coming from my right to my left. But given we're all, it's almost sunset. I think we're going to be okay. This is a prime spot to hit power lines, but I've scoped out this area, so I know there's none running across here. There's another two deer over there. What are we up to? Like 10 deer? Up oh, three deer. And they get through those barbed wire fences quick. They either hop over them or just shoot right through them. Oh, got a coyote. 
right over there. All right. Fast and then flare, flare, whoo, yeah, and run it out. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Um, another successful fight. It's good to be home. Yeah, we'll do this again sometime. Hey, if you guys want to see more flights like this, or if there's anything you would like to see more of in my videos, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to include them. Hey, thanks, guys. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.